Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to AWS EC2 instance for Debian Linux. I have connected to my AWS console. Now click on services and search for EC2. EC2 is nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud. Click on EC2. Left side is the EC2 dashboard. In the source section, we have three instances running and volumes also three. Key page five, security groups ten, and these are elastic IPs, load balances, snapshot details. Click on instances or click on launch instance to create new instance. Click on instances. I have three instances running. See the instance state. All are running. Instance type is T2 micro, availability zone, public DNS public IP address and security group name and launched instance times. Also notice here I have Ubuntu, Red Hat and Windows EC2 instances. Click on launch instances. Then provide name for this EC2 instance. I am giving Debian 11. Application on OS images. Here in quick start we have Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, SUSU Linux, Mac OS and Debian. If you want to get more AMIs information, click on this browse more AMIs. But in this video we are going to install Debian. Click on Debian. See, once we click on Debian, it has selected Debian 11. Then architecture, we have two types. One is x86 and ARM. I am going with x86. This is AMI ID. AMI is nothing but Amazon Machine Image. Key pair. We have to create key pair. Why? Because we can use a key pair to securely connect to our instance. Click on create new key pair. Then provide name. Debian 11. And key pair type is RSA. And provide key file format is PEM. Then click on create key pair. See, once we click on create key pair, it has downloaded PEM file. Now networking settings. Notice the settings VPC, default VPC, and subnet is my subnet RHL. Also, auto SN public IP selected by default as disabled. Firewall settings it has selected create security group you want to select the existing security group select here and in drop down you can select any one of them but i want to create separate security group for this debian allow ssh from anywhere if you want to custom click on custom and provide the cidr information if you want to only connect from your ip just click on it but i want to connect from anywhere now if you want to give the security group name and if you want to enable auto assign public IP then click on set it even if you want to change the VPC you can change if you want to change the subnet also you can or if you want to create new subnet other than this existing one you can click on create new subnet I am enabling this auto assign public IP then in security group provide the security group David SC means a security group for Debian. See here, SSH protocol is TCP, port number is port range is 22, source type anywhere. If you want add another security group, click on this one. Next, configure storage. By default, it has selected 8 gigabytes. I am changing it to 30 gigabytes root volume gp2 that is the default one also here free tier eligible customers can get up to 30 gigabytes of ebs general purpose or magnetic storage if you want to add new volume click on this add new volume next advanced details go through the each options and plan accordingly at the end we have the user data here we can provide the list of the commands or the scripts to be executed after Debian Linux has been launched. Now summary. This is the summary of the 
this debian linux 11 see software images debian 11 virtual server type our instance type is t2 micro firewall or security group here it has selected new security group but here we have given a z for debian 11 no need to worry about it once we click on this launch instance this will be created storage 30 gigabytes then click on launch instance successfully initiated the launch of the instance now go to instances then click on this refresh button see debian 11 it is running see instance state is it is running wait until this has to be completed next is availability zone public dns and this is public ip address c group name has been created with how we have mentioned this is the instance launch time wait until this checks to be passed i am pausing this video until this checks to be passed see checks passed now click on the instance id see this is the summary of debian linux this is instance id public ip address private ip address private dns name public dns name host name type this is the instance type elastic addresses we haven't provided at the time of launching ec2 instance this is the debian and platform details this is ami id this is ami name launch time and other options now we have to connect to this debian machine click on connect first one is ec2 instance connect let's try you see here username is admin click on connect it will fail it's expected this is no issue now copy this entire connection string open cmd or any ssh client now paste it and press enter it will fail i s it is saying permission in it why because because in this current directory this fem file is not there so we have to switch to this downloaded directory then cd downloads now run the same command press enter see we have successfully connected to debian see notice here we have successfully connected to debian also we can confirm by running the command more slash etc os hyphen release see we have successfully connected to debian and its version is 11 also we can connect from git bash open git bash check the present directory then switch to downloads where our file downloaded copy this connection string paste that one we have successfully connected to the debian 11 more etc os hyphen release see we have connected to debian 11 ec2 instance we can exit by typing exit we have disconnected from the ec2 instance from the git bash here also we can exit now go to aws console instances if you want to stop this instance select it then click on instance state click on stop instance if you want to reboot reboot instance so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to aws ec2 instance for debian 11 for more aws and cloud or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you